This program is brought to you by Stanford University. Please visit us at stanford.edu. Atoms uh, are these intangible things that are so fantastically small that you can never just detect one. You're always dealing with millions or billions. But here I'm taking this tiniest unit of matter and manipulating it. And I can then make pictures of those atoms. If we think ahead, what can these practically be used for? Uh, we, uh, we've shown that we can build uh, two different nanostructures that have identical electronic properties. That's the equivalent of having two drums that sound the same. So it's given us a new uh, degree of freedom or engineering in this new nano world that we're in. We can build different shapes that, have this, that share the same properties. So think about that. It's obviously it's easy to build different things and they have different properties. We do it all the time. It's very hard to build, uh, say, two or more things that actually have all the same properties, but they might look and, and be shaped differently. And that's what we've done now for the first time in this nano world. So it's a, it's a, a new technique for engineering at, this, uh, at these very small length scales. This is a control center for STM. There's a lot of uh, custom-made electronics here that we built. We can go smaller is better, usually. That's why we're downscaling electronics. That's why we try to make pro microprocessors faster by scaling them down in size. So I'm going to start scanning the tip across the sample. And here's where the image would start rolling in. If you can go to very small length scales, uh, you, you can't uh, you have to have a new way of thinking that's dictated by quantum mechanics. Well, this is uh, pretty much real time right now. So to take an image, just like uh, you'd see in our paper, it takes, you know, about a minute or so. Now, at some point, this is a limitation, but we also think that uh, it's an area for exploration and a way to actually do more. And it may, the way to do more is maybe not by scaling down something that we know works in our macroscopic realm, but it's coming up with something different. And what we're learning is that by going to very small length scales, there's a lot more, many more degrees of freedom. The preceding program is copyrighted by Stanford University. Please visit us at stanford.edu.